Hi, welcome and thank you for tuning in today. And today I would like to discuss one term which is overrated. I think that's successful. A successful means different to the different people. Is success overrated? And let me give you a small example and then I'll, I'll take you what are the basic things that you should focus on uh, say staying successful you know first of all you need to define what is successful means to you it means different to the different people for example if you're one of the employees who laid off during this corona times which is about ILO calculation says 190 million people who is jobless as we speak maybe the you know, the reports are wrong, but however, there are some people who is unemployed. What does a successful mean to the person who is unemployed? Finding a job. That is immediate success. And it depends on how long it takes, three months, four months, six months, one year, or maybe a couple of days. So imagine who is already employed still during the tough times and probably he is thinking that his salary is too less and he's looking for an opportunities to move on even though the situation is different so when he gets that break probably he feels himself successful if you don't get then he will be cursing himself where he is why he is you know he's not moving on and taking next steps you know he's being stuck but hey, don't forget the 190 million people who lost the jobs, who don't have the jobs. That means a lot of families who are dependent on them are also struggling in some way or the other. Now, for example, if you're a, a billionaire, say for example, you know, you're one of those fortunate guys to have, a, you know, own the Tesla or Amazon, Microsoft, so on and so forth. Their net worth is close to, you know, billion dollars, plus, 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 50, 60, 70, 100, it keeps going. Now, what does it mean for him losing a job? Nothing. Does corona affect his entire generation and a couple of generations to come? Nothing. He loses, I mean, they lose millions of dollars a day, millions of dollars gain in a daily basis doesn't mean anything to them and they define success based on how much stock prices went up or how much their wealth grown a billion times so it's different and different stages but you need to understand what does it mean to you to be successful maybe you're an artist maybe you're on a you know a sportsman maybe you're a businessman who is you know, willing to grow, you know, you're a family of four, four, five, and then, you know, having successful education for your kids. It's wide. The term successful is very much wide and diverse, and, and I would say it's elaborated in a big way. Now, there are a couple of things that I want you to pay attention so if you if you uh, follow that and if you keep that in mind in everything what you do most likely you are bound to achieve success in whatever the terms which means which may um, represent you so it's successful you know let's define that each word what it represents and uh, if that can be helpful for you to uh, you know, apply a couple of them. S means set your priorities or set your goals, set your in mind what does it mean to be successful. So you have to be defining what it is. Are you looking for unemployment? Are you, you know, moving progress in your career or your you want to achieve some monetary gains in terms of money or so on and so forth. So you have to set priorities or set goals. 
and U stands for understanding obstacles. You need to understand the process, what it means. It's not that, you know, you just woke up and you'll be successful, right? And we all agree that, you know, when you have clear path in what you wanted to achieve, what you wanted to go, what you want to be, there are certain challenges and obstacles you are going to find. So you need to understand the obstacles which is on your path. It stands for create a positive mindset. You, know, you, you need to be keeping that particular goal, particular idea in your head and then keep keep positive mindset, you know. Unless until you don't uh, feel good about it, feel positive about it, you're not going to go anywhere further. Clear self-doubt, you know. Most of the time when you are taking on our journey, where we get stuck is when not First of all, you're fighting against the all odds, but there's something that comes to you inside, self-doubt. So you have to clear that self-doubt and to be very, very clear that this is what you want, irrespective of the odds. Yes. Is embrace challenges, which we discussed in the, in the, pretty much in the second word as an obstacle. S, sacrifice time. Now, pretty much, when you work on a nine to five job, what are you giving to the work and mom and the workplace? Your time. So if you want to see yourself in a different form other than your business, other than your profession, then you work, you know, it's many times, I'm sure you must have heard about it. You know, nine to five jobs will pay you bills, but when you create something for your own, can create wealth for you. So. You need to clearly define and uh, you know sacrifice some time, personal time. It's not that easy, it's challenging. Uh, it's not going to be that easy. But as long as your priorities are set, and then you have enough time. Trust me, everybody has enough time. But only is how much are willing to, how much are you willing to sacrifice that personal time for your development or for your success, for your you know, for progress and in anything that you desire that you want to do achieve yes show sympathy on the way you know you cannot achieve everything on your own you know you need to at some point of time you need to work with the people you need to have a collaboration you need to uh, understand how the you know the people around you work with some mean some right some good some wonderful you need to put up with everybody at the same time show some sympathy for the people around you, uh, for the good work they do, or maybe someone who's in a difficulty, which needs some kind of, you know, uh, you know kind of a support, supporting world, supporting in whichever the way you can for the person to do better. Now comes F, feedback, or you can say focus. And I, I put those two terms together, as you successful, where an F, F is, Feedback or focus, you know, never deviate your focus. Always willing to accept the feedback that say how you can improve more and more and more. And uh, and be open, you know. Like some time back I spoke about humility, you know. What you don't know, you don't know. Um, can you know from a different perspective? Can you can you understand from a person who knows of what, what you don't know? Absolutely, yes. That's why we need to have a common collaboration with the people who can know better than you, irrespective of which other role you may be in, you are absolutely going to be wrong a couple of times more than often. So as long as you have that willingness to accept that you are a human too and you do can make mistakes, it is fair enough, you know. Nobody's gonna kill you for the things that if you say I don't know, you know. And you say you don't know that means you're open to learning. Uh, that's something that uh, you need to understand as and when you grow further in your progressing in your career on everything you do. The letter U stands for utilize all the opportunities. Now, the opportunities comes in a different forms. But when you're very much into the positive mindset, you know, people can say, oh, yeah, positive, positive, positive. What the hell is this? You know, you know 
throw some negative attitude to the work where you are around and see how and what kind of impressions are you going to leave to the people and what how that would impact your life your profession your career your business everything so attitude your attitude determines altitude utilize all the opportunities by showing positive attitude when you have a positive attitude opportunities do knock on your door and some people silently watching you how are you doing how are you performing there some people uh, you know have a good impression on you but then they, they don't have any opportunities at this point of time but however if you continue the same momentum not as and when it required for promotions and so forth but if this is been your a uh, nature your nature being that positive attitude people will do recognize and you never know and you cannot do how many forms that can help you maybe not now but definitely in the future the same person can be holding a different positions in a different places where they can think of your attitude how you been there how you been supporting and so on and so forth so open for opportunities at the same time your positive attitude determines your attitude of how you can progress now the last word comes successful learn from failures okay now that is something that we all understand some of you understand you know there is no way that you can succeed without trying there is no way you're going to know where you went wrong unless until you give it a try so action in everything you do and learning from the failures is the most important step for you to succeed in everything you wanted to do to sum up this confusing talk i gave you right now is that success definition is overrated you really need to define what it means to you like i explained earlier in this video you know if you're raising a two kids you know with a good education wonderful health uh, providing all the basic necessities that might be your success so laying a good foundation for your kids we can name examples countless examples but you need to define your success what it means to be a success i mean you just want to be a, a good human being being good human being is being successful too it's not only the monetary gains that you need to focus you need to look at the life in a bigger picture and try to understand what it really means to be successful and since most of the problems do come through the finances and we tend to overrate based on how much successful we are in terms of our wealth one way again you know it's person to the person whatever is on your priorities list however you want to define yourself successful around the people around you and most importantly how you want to feel about yourself being successful that matters most forget about others you know? others today you can uh, score two three goals or you know a couple of centuries in a cricket and they talk about two three days and then they forget about sachin tendulkar is you know has all time records of in most of the you know the formats but he's retired he yes he did it but you know any time one two three days in the newspaper it comes and then over a period of time eventually everything fades away so does your achievement so does my achievement so does your circle but when you have that internal feeling of that what does really represent success means to you that is going to keep you uh, give you boost all the time as long as you think about that moment so whenever you you know collect back those cherished moments that you have so you clearly need to define what it really means to be successful and then followed by uh, some of the you know the couple of words and hey, this is not any uh, a magic formula that you need to apply you know pretty much of a common sense and uh, as long as you apply these things and um, somewhere somehow you're going to get to reach where you want to reach which ultimately make you feel good make you feel accomplished and make you feel you know wonderful being part of you know a community and then for the good work you do uh 
for the people around you. I hope that helps for you to uh, take your life in a bigger picture and uh, define what it means to be successful and follow a couple of steps which we discussed all along. Stay well, stay blessed. Do leave your comments and thoughts and um, for me to do better in what you do and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.